name on your paper. First thing. Okay, let's read those directions. Solve the problems. Write your answers to show how many tens and ones. Show your solution in two steps. Step one, write one number sentence to subtract from 10. Step two, write one number sentence to add the remaining parts. Okay, so we know that 14 is made up of 10 and the four. And it's using this covering the zero thing because underneath that four would actually be a zero to show that there's 10. But the four when ones hide the zero to make it 14, right? So now we have to take this 10 and take away the five. 10 minus five equals five, easy peasy. But we still have these four extra ones, so we need the five that we got plus the four extra ones, and that equals nine. So 14 minus five equals nine. Let's keep practicing. We know that 13 is made up of 10 and three. So we're going to take this eight away from the 10. So we have 10 minus eight. Write what that equals right here. Well, you got two, but we still have these three extra ones hanging out right, right here. So we need to take the two and add it with these three. And then that gives us what? What's two plus three? Five. So 13 minus eight equals five. Okay. Let's go to the story problem for number three. Tatiana counted 14 frogs. She counted eight swimming in the pond and the rest sitting on lily pads. How many frogs did she count sitting on lily pads? Well, she started with 14. She counted eight swimming in the pond and the rest sitting on lily pads. How many frogs did, did she count sitting on lily pads? Sitting on lily pads, we don't know. So we can do 14 minus eight. We have the 14 frogs minus the eight swimming in the pond and that'll give us the rest that are sitting on lily pads. So to figure that out, we need to break the 14 up into some tens and some ones. So we have 10, and now we're gonna take away the eight from the 10. So we have 10 minus eight, that equals two, plus the four extra ones that make up the 14, right? So we have two plus the four, and that equals six. So let's write a statement that shows our answer. There are six frogs 
on lily pads. Period. If you're not done with that, you can pause it to finish. I'm moving on to number four. This week, Maria ate five yellow plums and some red plums. If she ate 11 plums in all, how many red plums did Maria eat? So she ate 11 plums, five were yellow, we're not sure how many red. Now to figure that out, we can just take how many plums she ate and take away the yellow plums and that'll give us the red plums. So we're going to do 11 minus 5 equals, and then we don't know yet. So to figure this out in our brain, we're going to imagine that 11 is made up of a 10 and one 1, and we're going to use the 10 to take away 5. So 10 minus 5, what does that equal? That equals 5, right? And now we have that 5. with the leftover one from the 11, and that makes six. So 11 minus five equals six, and that tells us how many red plums Maria ate. So we should say Maria ate six red plums, period. If you're not done, you can pause it. I'm going to turn it over to do number five. Here we go. Some children are on the playground playing tag. Eight are on the swings. If there are 16 children on the playground in all, how many children are playing tag? So we don't know how many children are playing tag, but eight are on the swings and there's 16 children on the playground. So to figure out how many are playing tag, we can take the 16 children on the playground and minus those kids that are on the swings, that was eight, and that'll give us how many kids are playing tag. Okay, now we break this up into two steps. The 16 can be broken up into the 10 and the 6, right? We're going to use that 10 to take away the 8. 10 minus 8 equals... two. So if we did 10 minus 8, we still have this 6 left over. So we need to take the 2 and add the 6 that we didn't use yet. And 2 and 6 equals what? Put it here and here. Now our statement can be there are, I'm putting a blank, you're going to write the number that you figured out, 
children. Blaming. Tag. Okay, if you're not done, you can pause it to finish. Let's do number six. Oziah read some nonfiction books. Then he read six fiction books. If he read 18 books altogether, how many nonfiction books did Oziah read? Okay, so he read six fiction. 18 in all. If six were fiction, then how many were nonfiction? So to figure that out, we're going to take the 18 that he read minus the six that were fiction, and that'll equal how many nonfiction books he read. Okay. So now we're going to break that 18 up into a 10 and an 8. Now we can do 10 minus 6 or we can even do 8 minus 6 because this number is actually bigger than this one this time. These are closer together. So what if we did 8 minus 6 equals, what is that? What is 8 minus 6? It's 2. And then we can take this 10 and add it to that 2. That's real quick and easy, right? 10 plus 2 equals what? Put the answer here and here, and then we'll put that answer in a statement. He read, I'm putting a blank, you're writing the number, non fiction. Alright, last one. Here we go. Hadley has nine buttons on her jacket. She has some more buttons on her shirt. Hadley has a total of 17 buttons on her jacket and shirt. How many buttons does she have on her shirt? So there's nine buttons on her jacket. There's more on our shirt, but we don't know how many. But we do know that there's 17 buttons on both the jacket and the shirt. So to figure that out, how are you going to set up your subtraction number sentence using these numbers? So go ahead and write that in. Write the two number sentences the two steps that you use to solve, and then write a statement. When you're done, it goes in the done tub. If you need more time, it goes in the to be finished tray.